Back at the Wildcat Creek again today, down at the lower section right before you guys into the Teleco River. It's Friday, July the 6th. It's a warm day, not too hot. It's about 84 degrees right now and it's about 11 o'clock. Uh, maybe 11.30. Who's keeping track of time? Doesn't matter when you're on the creek. So I'm going to go back up pretty much in the same area we were working before and make sure we got all that cleaned out. And then I'm going to move on and try to find another area that's holding some pretty good gold. Uh, Ended up with a, a nice picker last time. Not huge, but a nice size picker. Uh, a little over half a gram for nah, seven hours work or so. Probably not that much, but seven hours at the creek. So uh, I'm going to be shooting a little bit as I go and kind of uh, making mental notes of where I'm finding the gold and how. And I'll try to convey that onto the video uh, as I go. As you can see, I got a little company here right now, a rather large spider. It's just for comparison purposes, there's my 16 inch pry bar. So he's pretty good size. He's probably three inches from tail to toe. Baby looking critter. I think I'll send him somewhere else. What I'm working on right now is I'm pulling some bedrock slabs out of uh, beneath the gravel bar. Um, normally when you do that, you're going to find lots of fine gold, and indeed that's what I'm finding. Uh, nothing really big, but this pan, we can get a good look at it. It has a lot of small stuff. You can kind of see it just mixed all in there. That's a pretty good sign, so I'm going to keep on working at it. See what else I can find. Last little bit, I've been upstream sampling a little. Uh, just found just a few small pieces here and there. Really haven't found another good pay streak, so I'm back down down here again in the original spot from yesterday. You can see I'm opening up some of these um, grooves, cracks a little bit more and finding a little more color. I finally got into some decent color. It's a nice size flake in there, along with some smaller ones. So I'm going to open up some more of it and see if some more falls out. All right, now I'm working on another spot. I started this one, pulled out part of the quartz vein. It's a fair amount of material down there. Quite a few bigger pieces of gold. Nothing huge, just some flakes. Uh, kind of chunky though. We'll keep breaking this out. There was kind of a natural crack there, and there is around some of the rest of this too. So I'm gonna work on this for a while and see what I come up with. All right, just so you can see what I'm breaking out here. This is a quartz vein. Quite a lot of uh, mineralization. Definitely some uh, oxidation going on in there. You see it's left a nice little void and it really traces all the way across. So I'm going to try to see what comes out of here and keep working it down as far as it will let me go. We'll see what we get. Okay, now as for what we got out of the crack in the quartz vein. Right there, quite a few flakes and fines. Not bad for just a little bit of material. I've got another spot started up here too. So we'll see what it looks like in a minute. I'm continuing to work across the quartz vein. Uh, so far there's been lots of good gold in there. Nothing really huge. A lot of flakes. A lot of fines. But uh, just to give you an idea of what the quartz vein looks like. It's it right there. And it's not that the gold's coming out of the quartz vein. But the quartz vein's hard and the surrounding rock is soft. So it tends to, to separate over time and have cracks around the quartz. Which allows the gold to fall in. So if you crack out the quartz veins and clean the material out, you do pretty good. Back again, and you can see where I've been working along this quartz vein. And just to clarify what I was saying earlier, what we're really dealing with with the quartz vein here is uh, what we would call dissimilar materials. In other words, the quartz is a different material than the adjacent uh, shale in this case. So from winter to summer, they change temperatures and because they're different materials they expand and contract at a different rate and eventually, and it usually doesn't take very long, you'll get a separation between the two along the uh, mating phase or contact zone. Uh, so that's really what I'm talking about. I'm not necessarily saying that the quartz vein here contains gold, though I think it does because of some of the pieces I've seen come out of it being rather crystalline looking. I think it probably does have small amounts of gold, but mostly it's the, uh, the cracking action that, uh, that traps the placer gold. I'm back again. Um, I've been working for, oh, for about five hours now. 
Nothing really big, a lot of flakes and uh, a lot of fines. Nothing really huge. Pretty good day anyway. It's getting on toward about 5 o'clock. Uh, that's usually about the time I head for the house to eat some food. But uh, you can kind of see the area I've been working across through here. Pretty much along the strike of the quartz vein, following the cracks and stuff. Uh, this bedrock over in here was pretty good too yesterday. Still had a little bit left in it today. I'm fixing to get packed up and head on out and I'll be back here tomorrow with uh, some help. So we'll see what we can get in tomorrow.